Hi everyone, I'm back with another video after a very long break. I haven't made a video for quite a long time because I've been focusing on my online shop. Um, but I am back now, it's the spring, I'm going to try and get um, a lot more DIY done uh, as well as run my shop as well. But the, the weather is really good at the moment so I'm inspired to do a few things and today I am showing you uh, the project that I made, that I did recently and uh, th this that you're looking at at the moment is the top of a, a, a dressing table, a vintage dressing table that I bought from the charity shop. I bought it for the drawers, there were drawers on either side. Um, I wanted to try to turn those drawers into a part of a kitchen island. So those are, that will be another project in the future that I have to do. And so I was left with this top. Um, it is solid oak and it's been hanging around for a while and I've been thinking oh, one day I will make something out of it. So I, I then um, updated my computer system recently so that I can run my online shop more easily and I have bought a pair of uh, monitors so I uh, then I realized I wanted them to be a bit higher up than they would have been if they'd been sitting on the desk so I thought about this um, piece of oak left over and I thought right I'm going to make, make um, a computer desk so I will show you how I did it I'm just going to skip through the photographs and talk at the same time. I've not practiced this at all, so it's not going to be perfect. So first of all, I had to work out the size. Luckily, the width was already almost exactly the same as my desk, desk so I didn't have to do anything to that. But I cut off the, the bits sticking out at the front because they were sticking in, 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 in at, toward, they would have been sticking towards me too much. So I cut those off with my jigsaw sanded off the edges, made them nice and smooth. You really don't need a router to do that, it's it's an easy job. And checked that it was going to be uh, okay. I was at first thinking I could use the bits that I'd cut off uh, as the stands, but I changed my mind and filled in the holes. That is the top um, that of the desk shelf and it's got uh, you know a bleach uh, a mark there from where it had things attached to it i can't remember what um but it didn't bother me it's okay it doesn't have to be perfect um and now it's finished actually i don't really notice those at all and gave it a few coats of water-based varnish dries really quickly and I thought, what can I use to raise the shelf up to the right height? And then I remembered that I had kept some um, onyx effect plastic rod from a standard lamp, a vintage standard lamp that I bought from an auction, thinking it was real onyx and then discovered that it wasn't real onyx. So I... Um, took the lamp apart, decommissioned the lamp and kept all of the fake onyx parts, uh, including the base, big round base and the rods uh, that well, you can see one in the picture here um, that were spaced uh, all the way up the, the pole of the lamp. Uh, I'd kept them for a while and then I realised I could use these as four, four legs. They, are, they were hollow inside and that made the job a lot harder and they weren't cut perfectly so I had to cut them. So anyway I had to fill, first of all fill in the holes and I found a wooden spoon that, uh, that filled the holes um, nice and neatly. So I cut up the wooden spoon and set about using it to, to plug the holes. I used tissue paper and um, wood glue. In hindsight maybe I should have just used a really good good quality um, all-purpose glue rather than wood glue because because it was being plastic but it, it worked in the end it, you know it was it was okay one of them did not work um, 
but and I had to redo it. But the the others were very strong, so I just hammered it in, and the tissue paper helped to create a nice tight fit. And clean them off. I bought some rubber clear rubber caps furniture leg uh, caps from eBay uh, because I couldn't get them from my lo local shops unfortunately and I glued them to the bottom with all-purpose glue and that worked very well and then I trimmed off the cup part And I had to cut the rods uh, down a little bit, some of them, because they were all slightly uneven and I had to use a, a hacksaw and my wooden mitre block, um, which was a bit, bit difficult, took, took uh, quite a while, but I made it in the end. Um, it would have been better with a chop saw or a band saw. That's them finished. I perfected them with my wood file and make sure that they were nice and flat otherwise I'd have wonky legs and then I had to drill a hole into the newly plugged hole so that the double ended bolts uh, would fit nicely I again I didn't have the ideal tool for the job um, I would have been but it would have been easier with a bench drill but I don't have a bench drill yet one of the plugs popped out so I had to redo that one three of them are nice and solid so I found another bit of wood to plug again and we did that one and this time it was okay so I put the double-ended bolts into the holes with a little bit of wood glue and attach them to the Danset leg uh, brackets. I got those on eBay because I couldn't find them in my local shops. Um, the uh, bolts would have been easier to fit if they had had slots at the top for a screwdriver, but they didn't. So after screwing them into the legs as as well as I could with my, my fingers my hands I and then putting the bracket on um, I tightened them with um, pliers um, and then I hacksawed most of the rest of the, bra the bracket off um, leaving a little bit that would dint into the wood underneath to help make the leg even stronger now they are finished I used a bit more glue, some all-purpose glue, um, just as I was tightening it up against the bracket, them up against the brackets, just because I'm, you know, just wanted to make sure that this desk top shelf was not going to be moving about. <laughs> and that's it finished. I'm really happy with it. it um, it's just the perfect height. My monitors are now the perfect height, and it's the. Per it's just the right size for the desk it feels really comfortable um, so I'm very happy with it and it matches the shelf above which is also uh, something that I've made using salvaged materials the shelf above um, was the top of a sideboard an oak sideboard which is now my kitchen sink unit um, I kept the the top knowing that I'd be able to use it for something and uh, then I needed a big shelf in my office so I thought ah oh, I'll use that top and it was very very easy again I didn't need to cut it down I just attached three very large uh, bracket metal brackets and attached it to the wall and then there you go an oak shelf cost almost nothing um, so I'm absolutely delighted with my little office corner where I spend a lot of my time working on my online shop fab things that's it I hope you liked my video and I hope you like my computer desk shelf 
please leave me a like if you did and please let me know if you spotted a dog in the video and um, let's see who can be the first person to tell me at what time in the video there was a little dog just to check that you are actually watching my videos properly okay um i promise you that i will get back onto my kitchen um, I haven't finished it yet. I really have had to put DIY on hold while I have been working hard on my um, online shop. Um, but I, I, I really have to get into my kitchen. Um, I've been in my house for three years now and being in my attic in my makeshift kitchen is driving me crazy. So um, I, I have things to, left to do in the kitchen such as fit shutters. I've I managed to source some nice Victorian shutters for the window. I want to make a kitchen island and I have to put some shelving above the sink unit. Um, so there's some really nice projects uh, to come. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done. Like the video, leave me a comment, let me know where the doggy was, let me know what you think to my computer desk. Thanks, bye.